Hi, uh, welcome to another Art with Trisha and uh, I'm just going to do a little demo using lots of different things. So I'm just going to quickly run through what I'm going to use. Um, I've got watercolours put out on my palette. I've got a nice big watercolour brush, number 12 there. Um, I've got another brush because I'm going to use masking fluid. So I've got my tiny soap so that I can coat my brush with some soap and I'll show you that probably um, so that it protects it from the masking fluid. Uh, I have got uh, a little bit of granulation medium and a little syringe to drop it in to my palette there. Uh, I have got Ink Tense Blocks by Derwent um, and I'm going to use one of those, blue or purple or something, later on, uh, just for, for putting little speckles down. Uh, if you haven't got ink tense blocks, you can use the ink tense pencils. If you haven't got ink tense pencils, you could use uh, watercolour pencils. Um, you could use pastel, blocks of pastel. Um, you might have some brush out, that might work as well. Um, you could also um, just take, if you've got some little pans of paint, you can uh, use those, the hard pans as well. You'll see what we're going to do in a bit. Uh, but I've got that and I've got a little, it's very rusty, knife to scratch some of the um, little grains off the blocks here. Uh, I've got a straw, uh, one of those nice metal straws. Uh, I've got my water, I've got my palette, and I have my pencil. Uh, this is a HB pencil. Um, let's get started. So first off, I'm going to sketch out. And I'm just going to sketch, we're going to paint this lovely nest with eggs in it. I'm very, very lightly sketching out some egg shapes. Don't panic uh, if you're, you're not sure. You can modify them slightly as it goes. And we're going to cover a lot of this bottom up anyway, so don't sort of think, oh no, I can't, I can't do that. knock that one over so it isn't just standing dead straight up there. I tell you not to panic, and now I'm fiddling with it. Sorry, there we go. Okay, so there's our eggs, our nest is going to go round. So next we're going to use our masking fluid. Okay, so, oh, I've got a, you could use a tissue or a cloth. I'm going to dip my brush in my water here and I'm just going to wipe the outside of it off so it's not wet but it needs to be damp and now I'm going to rub it into the soap. Can you see what I'm doing there? Hopefully. Can you see it's all covered in the, the soap there? Okay, so I don't need loads of it on there. I just need a nice covering. Okay. So I'm ready to go. I'm wiping my fingers off and then oh look at that in there. Okay, clean that out a little bit. And I'm just gonna go all the way around here with the masking fluid. Oh. Impatience. Just 
so when we're working on here in a bit we can be a little bit messy and it doesn't matter because it's not going to affect around the outside. bottom here so I'm sure people are thinking oh, why going down here but I know me if I'm not careful with what I'm doing I'll just make more of a mess so I might as well while I'm going around just block that bit off as well okay I've just made that very thin there I'm going to make that bit thicker just so it's easy to pull the whole one off there we go And I'm going to leave that to dry, so I'm going to go and wash my brush off now. Okay, so our masking fluid is dry. You can see it there. Uh, so I'm going to mix up a really, really light sort of pinky, purpley colour here. Really, really watery, really thin colour. a little too pinky but we'll go crazy anyway okay so and I've also chosen um, quite a dark blue it looks almost black here but it's quite a, a dark blue see my fingers uh, ink tints block so we would like this Ooh. mucky fingers we want this to be um, quite wet we need to be ready for it And, and wet there and then we're just going to take our little block and we're just going to speckle our ink tints into it. It's up to you how much you want to go. I need to stop myself because I'll go crazy and cover the whole lot. And then we're just going to leave that to dry now. Um, this will spread very slightly into the wet so we'll get a, a subtler colour. Oh well, look, see I can't stop myself. Okay, let's put that blue back in and let's try a, another blue in here. Okay, stop now. <laughs> there you go. Can you see that spreading there? You can just see that blue uh, spreading out. Right, stop yourself. Right, there we go. Let's leave that for a bit. Okay, so this is nearly dry. It's a little... Um, we're going to try and pick up some of the, the colour here and just add some shadows around. So be very careful here. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to spread this about too much, so don't have your brush too wet.
there we go. Okay, so let's get this masking fluid off. Oh, lucky fingers, I didn't blow that off. How satisfying is that? Oh, lovely. Maybe we should have put some on the, on the back of our hands so we could have peeled it off at break time. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, so I was thinking about it and I was thinking that uh, there might be some people that uh, don't have ink tens or anything else to uh, scrape onto the eggs and also that might not have um, masking fluid so I'm going to do a slightly alternate one if you haven't got those things a little bit of a plainer version so I'm just going to take a, a twitch of blue and I'm just making up quite a Watery wash here. You'll see in a minute. So I've just sketched out my eggs again. Do this. Getting rid of that line there. there. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to paint the shadows in, just to give my eggs a little 3D. First off, there we go. So I'm just using this very light wash and then I'm just wetting the edge and feathering that out. egg shape and then I'm just going to add a slight bit more in and deepen this colour up. That might be a bit too much but we'll see. Okay so I'm just going to put a wet wash all the way around the back of these eggs. And that's where my paint is going to flow to. And it shouldn't flow any further after that line. And now I'm just going to drop the colour in here. encourage it to move through the water there. leave that to dry now. Okay, uh, so I've let this dry. I've got a little um, uh, cockle to my paper because I made it so wet. Um, it's not super thick paper, 
this is 300 gram paper so it's quite thick but it's not amazing this one is and so let's see how we go so don't panic about being super precise here with your shape what you don't want to do is for it to go up unless um unless you want to create a, uh, a, a nest all the way around. In which case you can go right the way up and round. Oh, I'm being careful with my brush again. do the other one for you so you can see what that one looks like um, with uh, the other eggs that I did earlier um, and I'll pop those at the end. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's see what you've done. Um, log on to my student chat room um, and share your eggs in a nest pictures. Visit my website for your art resources, follow me on social media, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more art demos.